What's up everyone, how are you doing today? Um, it has been a while since I've made a video. Unfortunately, my computer is down and I'm getting it fixed again. Guess what? It's the hard drive, again. I have such bad luck with computers. <laughs> um, but I would like to talk about a game that was released in 2014. It's 2015, Nick, get with the program. Yeah, I know. Um, but I'm here to talk about one of the scariest games I have ever played and I have ever owned. And I strongly recommend if you are a one if you're a fan of horror and if you're a fan of Ridley Scott, go out and buy Alien Isolation. Now I did not do a what's in the box for this episode for this. I wanted to, and I don't know why I didn't. I just never did. But this is this was probably my favorite game of 2014. Um, for any of you who don't know the story, it's about Amanda Ripley, uh, uh, Ripley's daughter. Uh, who has been searching for her mother for years. She is in kind of the same job as her mother. She works in space, but she has been, she has spent all this time trying to look for her mother. And so like through this game, you know, like, cause I've watched gameplays and I'm like, they were saying, ah, oh, this game's okay. Th this game's not that good. But then when I watched a review of Angry Joe, I was like, okay, I'm sold. I have got to pick this game up. So I did. And because I pre-ordered it, I got the Nostromo edition. Now, what this is, is there? you have three modes. You have survival mode, and then you have something else. And the other mode is this. You play as Ripley, and you play the entire last part of the movie, where you're trying to um, hurry and shut down the ship and blow it up before the alien gets you. And I was like, that is so freaking awesome, because it's all the actors from Alien. It's, um, it's... It's Sigourney Weaver, other actors, other actor. I don't remember the actors' names, but you have everyone who was alive in the movie at that point. You had um, you had Ripley, you had Burke, you had um, Kane, uh, if I'm correct, and you had that woman, the one who whined all the time, um, and you and you hear them, and it's just like you feel like you're in the movie, and so th that was a great thing. I finally beat the game last night. I. I <sighs> I was okay with the ending. I didn't care for it um, because after you go through all of this, you know you're you're trying. The ship is also blowing up, but at the same time you're being hunted by the alien, and also there are robots that are telling you you do not need to be in this area. They they try to kill you, and so it's it's a really hard game. But now what's awesome about this is there's no pattern towards the alien. No pattern whatsoever. There is like, there's nothing like if you wait for a while, it'll go. Now, see, it will go into the vents, but somehow they programmed the game into making the alien come out whenever the game wants, when or whenever the alien wants to. And that's just so creepy because in most games, yeah, there's a formula to survive. In this, there's none. There is no formula to escape in the alien. Like the the alien will just pop out whenever it wants to. There'll be times when you save the game and the alien's there, and there'll be times when it won't be. And I actually like that because it plays on the fear of you have no idea when the alien is coming. You have no idea. So now, the very first time I started playing, I was already freaking out. I was like, oh man, where's the alien? Where's the alien? It wasn't there. And the very first time I seen it, it ran across me and I was like, that just happened. But no, the very first time you actually see the alien is when you turn on the computers or something, and the alien just drops, and and you're and you're freaking out. It's so like you're trying to get away from it. The very first time it actually killed me, I was playing with my friend Brandon, and I knew it was in the room somewhere. I open the door, I see it, I start running and screaming like a girl, and then the next thing you know, tail comes through my chest. It was horrific. This is a very scary game, one of the scariest games I've ever played. Now, I have seen gameplay of PT and Outlast, and unfortunately, Outlast and PT are scarier than this, but this is a scary game, and I strongly recommend you pick this up. Um, one other thing, my two favorite parts of, of this game that I really liked, there was one where you got to go on LV426, and I was like, what the heck? I'm on LV426! I'm like, oh, please let me find the ship. There it is. Oh, please, let me find the egg room. There was the egg room. And I was like, oh, it takes you back to being an alien. It, it was just so awesome. But probably my absolute favorite part of the game, and this actually almost made me cry, was the fact that Amanda has been spending so much time looking for her mother. You find a voice recording by Sigourney Weaver herself 
being Ripley, sending this message to Amanda, and it was a it was a tearjerker. I was like, oh gosh. And then after that, I, I started to clap. I, I started to clap because that was such a heartbreaking scene to see that, to hear that. And you just imagine what if you were trying to find your mother and that's the very last thing you hear from her. And it, it just, it really played on my emotions. And it was such a good thing. And you can tell that the people who love Alien franchise, who loved this, you know that they truly had heart. The, this is from a this is a game built by a company who loves what they do and who has respect for this franchise and who loves these movies. And also not that, but the voice actors and Sigourney Weaver and all the people from the original Alien movie, they love this and they and they truly show it. When you play this game and you hear their voices, you know, it's not the company getting someone who kind of sounds like Sigourney Weaver to do it. It is it is Sigourney Weaver, it is her voice, and it is all the other actors' voices. And you just feel and you know that they love this movie so much. They gave the fans something of what they wanted, which was to be scared by the alien, to run from it. They gave us what we wanted and this is what we have to show for it. This was my favorite game of 2014. It was on Angry Joe's best games of 2014. I, guys, it's 2015, but you know what? Who cares? Go to GameStop and pick, or any place near you. Go on eBay, go to Walmart, Target, wherever. And Michaela Van Dyke, if you're watching this video, please go and buy this game. You will not be disappointed. I finally finished it after months of having it. And I, I, I probably, the, the thing is with me, I can't play video games all the time, but I loved this game so much, I didn't want to finish it. I did not want to finish it. I just wanted to have, I wanted to spread it out and I wanted to enjoy my gameplay. And I did. I, I enjoyed every minute of this game. I enjoyed every minute of it. Guys, this has been another episode of Phenomenal Views. Put in the comments below, what did you think about Alien Isolation? Did you pick up the Nostromo edition? What did you think about the other modes that we could play? Guys, I really want to know what your opinions are. Please hit that like button and subscribe. Tell your friends about uh, about this video. Tell your friends about my channel. Um, yeah, guys, remember, in space, no one can hear you scream. Have a good, have a good day, guys.